we're going to have a really close up look at the new Yamaha PSR SX900 keyboard. We're very lucky to go and have a look and a listen and a play of this new keyboard. And we're going to give you our biggest takeaways, biggest impressions from our first session with this keyboard. Now, make sure you check out our other videos here on YouTube, comparisons, demonstrations, reviews. We've got just about everything covered. It's clear to us what we're looking at here is really a compact or a mini Genos. Genos being, of course, Yamaha's flagship keyboard. This one uh, will have speakers built in that Genos does not, of course, which makes it much more portable and also much more affordable as well. But the key thing is they use the same operating system using that touch screen there. Look at the front. This is one of the more noticeable design features. It's got this lovely sheen on it. And this uses a brushed aluminium fascia, just like you get on all the Yamaha's high-end audio-visual stuff. Gives it this lovely metallic sheen to it there. Now, one of the new features I've got to bring your attention to is called Chord Looper. And this has been a direct result of customer feedback, which Yamaha are great at. For the first time, we're going to be able to loop around chords, which is going to be fantastic for songwriters. So I can program in a set of chords, have the keyboard play around repeatedly. You can program up to eight different sets of chords. That's going to be absolutely fabulous. Previous models of S-Series keyboards, the speakers, uh, quite sensibly, we thought were designed to pump the sound directly into your ears as the player. But on the SX700 and 900, the speakers are designed to project outwards towards the audience. So again, this is going to be fantastic for people to go out and play gigs in small venues no need to um, go into external speakers to be heard across the room and um, Bluetooth functionality is included and in everything you might expect from a 2019 digital device one of the features coming over from Genos of course is playlist which in short is a way to arrange your settings in multiple neat lists again really good for gigging musicians which uh, this keyboard does a great deal of external speakers again there's a clever design where if you plug in one of the yamaha subwoofers like the sw100 i think it is the keyboard automatically adjusts the eq to direct the treble out of the monitor speakers and send the bass to the sub so it's a bit like you're turning your sx keyboard into a mini genos there with external speakers one other thing i must mention and i've got to be quick in this video is a Yamaha being absolute heroes when it comes to responding to the needs of uh, musicians and customer feedback and one of the new features is called style reset whereby um, rather than waiting for the chord sequence to go all the way to the end of the bar um, you can press a button and you can even assign it to a pedal where it automatically um, instantly shifts the beat back to the first beat of the bar for so so for some songs Beatles songs I can think of in particular like uh, all you need is love and uh, here comes the sun where you just need to cut back to the first beat in the bar um, you used to be quite rigid in previous keyboards where you had to sort of be creative and you know just wait patiently for the chord sequence to finish but now we've got style reset which immediately jumps back to the beginning of the bar which is going to be great again for songwriters and performers so we're going to be covering this keyboard in much more detail in the weeks to come make sure you check out the website for the best deals and come in and play one for yourself in our store here in Banbury just off junction 11 of the M40 thanks very much for watching bye for now